Hello everybody and welcome back to One Shot, where we are in the middle of trying to get Nico to fix a broken battery. So I'm gonna have a little look around. I feel that the I've explored most of the places that I've already been in quite extensively. So I'm gonna see if I can find any other buildings and see if there's anything around. And I think I went as far as I could in one direction, so I'm going to go back up here again because I know there was stuff above, there was a couple of like stations, but there was still further to explore, so let's go and explore. Oh, oh it keeps going dark, I don't like it. I'm very sorry, I'm probably not doing this in the most efficient way. I don't want to go up there because I'll get trapped. I like these shrimp ponds, they're really cute. They're pretty. Okay, so there was a way... We've been in there, that was where the bed was. But we can carry on going up here, I think. Oh. So dark. Oh, she lab, there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. Oh, okay, so I shouldn't go any further than that. Okay, so I need to find some way to be able to breathe up here. Okay. That's unfortunate. Oh, well, there's a, a way up there. I wonder if that's still... Makes me struggle to breathe. I just checked that this was the area with the bed. Yeah, it was definitely was that area so there's no point in going in there again can I get around here nope it's like I keep pressing A like can I jump no you can't jump Nico Let's just go around the back just in case I can squidge through somehow So I'm not getting up there uh, anytime soon. Not that it really seems to go anywhere anyway. Okay, well I'll go back down the other way then I guess and see if there's anything down there. Can I, can I speak to this dude if I go across here? Has he got, he's in a boat, isn't he? Oh look, yes I can. Hello. I don't think this battery is supposed to be for the robot. I just unselect it and maybe try and speak to him. Mm, hello? Shelab, are you there? Yes. Oh good. There's a robot here attached to a boat. It doesn't seem to have power and its joints are rusted over as well. But I think we should be able to fix it. After all, we'll need to cross this ocean to get to the tower. Oh well, at least I know what I'm aiming for. That's good. So that guy, there's a robot in a boat. need him to get to the tower so to do that I need to get the power back to all the robots and to do that I need this glass lens hmm. Is there anything else I'm missing here I think that's the way we came in yeah because I remember that robot and that robot over there and this robot here. I remember them all. So let's see how far south we can go. Maybe go around here a bit more. Whoa! Oh look! Okay, here's the... the area with the robot, with the prophecy robot. So we can get that far here. Hmm. If we go past here, we get to the little factory. Can we go beyond there, though? Is there anything else? Anything that has possibly a convenient glass lens? Is that the end of the world? Yes. Oh, dear. 
Maybe I could go down. Oh yeah, I can keep going this way a bit. There's a very squiggly railway line. Who would lay a railway line like that, honestly? Can I get up here? Oh, it's like a whole maze up here. Okay. Oh, what's this? Okay, let's see. A metal safe. It seems like it's locked with a six-digit code. I don't remember seeing any six-digit codes, do you, she love? No. That wasn't it. Yeah, I, I gathered that. Let's keep exploring. Gonna break the fourth wall again and probably shut down the program again. I think they just do this to annoy YouTubers, honestly. Game dev sat there laughing at me. Oh look. Oh right. You can't get can't get up that way because it's hurting to breathe again. Okay. Was there anywhere that we didn't go? We didn't go along this way. I just keep wandering around this maze. Oh, there must be something around here that's going to help me. Surely. They won't put this here for no reason. Oh. Okay, this looks like it might be promising. Oh, and there's Clovers. Can I speak to you? A robot. No power, just like the rest. Okay. More Clovers. What's up here then? Oh, someone's house. The light bulb. So, are you the Messiah? That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. Or at least someone that doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat. Uh-uh. I'm a person. You've got the eyes of a cat. Cats walk on four legs. Well, either way, a child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. But that robot back there says there's no mistake. I know. This is going to sound cold, but I honestly think you're better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This manner of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. And we can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here? Then you must be headed towards the tower. Mm-hmm. It's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb, the sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend. And the power is strongest at the summit. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh, don't take my word for it though. That's great, but do you have a lens? You have a shiny thing. Shiny things are good. Something is poking out from the shelf. Ah, it's a screwdriver. You can take it if you want, it may help you. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I have many. Thank you. Okay, handy. But it doesn't contain any glass. It might help me take something apart though. A bed. It's made of metal. It doesn't look very comfortable. It's a crate. Okay. A metal chess table covered in dust. I haven't played chess with anyone else for a long time. Oh? Not even with the other robots? No. Nobody in the Barons have that capacity in their programming. Nobody here is tamed, for that matter. A dusty chess table. Right. A jar full of glow glowing shrimp, sorry. The top is covered with a wire mesh. A shelf of weird tools, pieces of metal. Piece, there's a piece of paper here I could read. Dear Silver, I'm guessing Silver's the girl there. I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. 
It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time before the rowboats are recalled. At least let me know you got my message, okay? Kip. Aww. Kip. Please do not touch that. Oh, sorry, I got curious. What is this thing? Backup power cell. It keeps me functional. The main generator for the Barons ran out of power some time ago. It could not even last a week without the sun. Sorry to hear that. All we can do is make use of the light we have. Okay, well that seems to be it for her house. Get around here. Um, not really. There's something over there. But I can't get to it. And that frustrates me a lot. Okay, let's try going round at the back here. Oh right, so it's something on the wall. Hang on. It's hard to see in the dark sometimes. It's a photo of two people. The glasses are a bit too far you to see the details though. Go speak to Silver again. What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least nobody history knows. Then who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but... Oh? He never told me if it went anywhere. I would imagine that asked Kip. Do you need further assistance? We're good, thanks. Okay, so that's as much as I can talk to her about. Uh, so let's go outside and see if we can find anything beyond here. Screwdriver would definitely be useful. Wait! I saw you headed towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter it, it is my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks. Okay, so we're going in the mines. Ha ha. You look like you have a lens on you. There's a little gadget on the ground. It looks kind of like a camera. What's left of a camera, anyway? Probably even part of a robot, at one point. Oh. Or not, I don't know. Okay. I wonder if there's anything else in here, though. So... That's the edge. Okay. I can see a faint yellow glow in the distance. Don't sound so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like even the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? I can, but for you it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. What's ahead anyway? It's a huge network of underground mines, the source of this world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled the world into the industrial age. So now it's lost forever? It's been for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have all been cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh? I hope he's okay. Probably Kip. Okay, well let's have a look at our inventory. So we've got the screwdriver, the camera, the empty bottle, the broken battery. So I would like to see if the screwdriver or the crowbar, equally, would um, combine with the camera. Use the screwdriver to pull the lens out? Okay. Done. Right, so I have a lens now. So let's see if we can combine the lens with the broken battery. The lens pops right in. Empty battery. Fantastic. Right, let's go. Bye, Silver. Ready to leave? Mm-hmm. There's nothing else to do in there. Well, there probably was. There's probably loads of secrets that I'm missing here, but... As I say, I want this to be an organic playthrough. Where I find out what to do on my own. Okay, 
So now I've now just got to try and find my way back through this little mazy thing. Uh, hopefully this is the right way. Still can't get in the safe. But that's okay. I don't need to be in everything. As I say, with, with me, I'm not too worried about finding all the secrets. If I wanted all the secrets, I'd probably have a little look at a walkthrough or something. But I'm just wanting to play and see what I can find on my own. And we are just going to go back to the building. Through the horrible darkness. I hate it being so dark. It's horrible. And then we are going to try and get the machine working and then it'll actually be something interesting going on in this whole let's play. Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go in the building. Yeah. Okay. And up here. Let's get this machine working. Right, so I want my empty battery. The battery fits in the slot perfectly. Looks like we're right on track, but nothing happened. Oh no, it's going to need power. Are there slots to the other sides? No, can't get in that way. So I actually need to somehow power that battery up. Let's have a look at some of the other machines and see if, uh, if they would work in any way. It's a power cell, I think. Oh, the word Profit Bot is written on the side. Didn't notice that earlier. Okay. So I've got the empty battery selected at the moment. Oh, no, I haven't. Okay, I couldn't interact with that. So I need to get some power for this battery. I wonder if someone could help me with it. I wonder if I show it to some of the other robots they might be able to help me. Because it's now not a broken battery anymore. Hello again. Are there more questions you wish to ask? Yes. Mm-hmm. Go on then, ask away. Oh, okay. It's just all... Stuff we've already talked about. Profit bot. Okay. We have to get some power in this battery then. I mean, it seems like the those shrimp are how we get power. But I don't know how I would do that. everything I can find. Haven't I? Well, do you know, the only thing I haven't... I didn't really have a really super good look because I was looking for that metal press in the actual factory. So I'll go and have a bit more of a look around in there. It's annoying that I came all the way back and I couldn't even find the... Couldn't even put the battery in the machine. I wonder why ProfitBot's battery still works. Oh, it's because he's got... A shrimp attached to the machine. Interesting. I'm going to go actually look at the machine that I... Uh, Took apart, see if I can do anything with that. Well, there was supposed to be some sort of battery or something, wasn't it? Can I maybe put the battery back into that one? It's empty now. Still got some shards of glass at the bottom, though. A robot may not injure a living person or, through inaction, allow a person to come to harm. 
A robot must obey the orders given to it by people, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. A robot must protect its own existence, as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. That's the robot rules. Hey, there's a... Okay, so we're on the outside, and then we get across the river, we'll get to the glen, and then we get to the refuge. Interesting. I'm guessing the tower is in the refuge. But in the meantime, I'm still trying to find power for this battery. Which I need to find from shrimp. Definitely need to find from shrimp. It's just a case of how to interact with the shrimp. No, read that already. Doing things we've already done does not help us at all. So there's nothing in that room, as far as I can tell, that's going to help us at all. Lots of dusty shelves. Okay, so... Let's go back to the factory then and see if we can find anything in there that will help us. Because we can go down here, there's the press down there. I didn't really look past it at all. There's all sorts of robot bits that I could be possibly utilising. No. Not even sure what that's supposed to be. I think it's half a head. There's some whole robots though. Oh, it's a badly damaged piece of robot. Is there anything else I missed? Lots of pieces of robot down here. But this is the problem when I don't check everywhere. I might have missed something. Missed something cool. That robot there holding something. Let's go check him out. He looks like he might be, but then sometimes with these graphics, I... Like... Alright, oh yeah, we clicked on him earlier, I think. No power, no power, no one's got any power. We can maybe go and ask Silver again, if she knows anything about it. We can maybe try and explore the mines again. Not sure, not sure. I don't think I explored like her house in the mines. Well, I explored her house a lot, but I didn't explore the mines very well. And there's something to do with that safe as well that might help. I haven't figured that one out yet. But we need some way to get past the... Uh, area where we can't breathe so something to help us with that I imagine we get like a suit or something okay so what's up here there's a page okay I haven't seen that before although the poisonous gas is highly localized to the vent zones Baron's workers were still recommended to wear gas masks aha these masks were mandatory around active vent sites of course as more and more of the workforce got replaced by robots, we found ourselves with a surplus of abandoned gas masks. I would like to know very much where those are. It seemed like a waste to get rid of them all, so we kept them for emergencies. Where? Where did you keep them for emergencies? Where? I need to know. Around the vents somewhere. If I wander around, I might... Oh, do you know what? I bet they're in the safe. Would not surprise me at all. But I'm just going to, like, follow her around this maze just in case there's, like, some surplus of gas masks hiding somewhere. There's nothing there. This one around. Uh... 
Okay, we can't go up that way. It's okay, it's okay, Nico. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll go this way instead. Although I think I've been this way before. That way goes to the piece of paper. Torn page with faded ink. With the mining operations going smoothly, materials are no longer our limiting factor. We will be able to build more resilient robots both in body and mind. Specifically, the discovery of Metal Alloy 291 will likely al allow the development of highly efficient circuitry. Hmm. Interesting. That's still not a gas mask. Or maybe check out the mines and go see Silver again. This is one of these games where you do have to go over things a few times, I imagine, just to... Okay, so we have a robot up there. I bet when all the robots wake up, it'll be really interesting. And... Up here. That's Silver's house, I think. Let's have a chat to her again, see if she's got any... Anything to say? No, she doesn't. Mm, okay. I'm gonna go to the mines again and uh, hang her out on my own, I think. Oh no. I'm gonna go this way. Right, and go around here. Was there anything beyond the mines at all? No, there wasn't. You have to go in them. Okay. There are jars of shrimp. It's another one of those shrimp jars. Okay. Could we maybe sneak across here now that uh, what's her face isn't with us? The yellow light is gone now. Must have imagined it. Safety violation. Okay. Oh, isn't that frustrating? Well, I'm not sure where to go with this one. Definitely need a gas mask. And I'm thinking that the gas mask might be in that safe that's uh, in there. And I'm just not sure exactly what I'm doing here. I mean, I think I've been everywhere around here that I need to go. Oh yes, I could go... No, I can't go there. Can I get around this way at all? An interesting little maze, this one. I'm going to go down here and try and get around a bit. Maybe. There's more a bit kind of up here that I could maybe go to. Go around there. Go upwards. Don't seem to be able to get there at all. Well, this is very puzzling. But I think we have actually run out of time for today so I am going to end the episode here and I hope you liked it and if you did then please leave me a like below. If you would like to see more of uh, this particular series or any of my others then please do leave, uh, subscribe to the channel I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time but in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.